Hey y'all, it's Jen, and today I am doing my July monthly recommendation video. Monthly recommendations is a group on Goodreads created by Kayla Rain and Trina from Between Chapters, and I will link that information down below. July's theme is your auto read slash auto buy authors. I have a quite a stack here, so I am going to get started with these. Now these are in no particular order, it's just the order I have these books stacked, and I am only going to show you one of the books I have by them, um, otherwise I would never be able to actually pick up all of those books. And a lot of the books that I have that are auto buy for me are, um, or auto read authors are on my Kindle or on audio books. Um, one that is not shown here is Sherilyn Kenyon. She is the author of the Dark Hunter series and of the Chronicles of Nick series. Um, I am only, I think I'm up to book number 15, 16 of the Dark Hunter series. Um, it's the one right after Asheron's book. I can't remember what it was. I have not continued with that series yet just because there are so many of them and I kind of got burnt out on the series and I just needed a break and I just never have gone back. But her young adult series, The Chronicle of Nick, follows one of the characters from the Dark Hunter series but in a more um, young adult appropriate context. I don't understand how anybody can follow The Chronicles of Nick without having read the Dark Hunters. So if you're interested in it, I do suggest you read Dark Hunters before Chronicles of Nick. Um, however, it's its own series, its own standalone, but you get have so much backstory that you don't get and so many characters that are in there that you only really know who they are from the Dark Hunter series itself. So, um, but anyway, Sherilyn Kenyon is the Chronicles of Nick. It's an auto buy for me. I do own most of the Dark Hunter series up until the last couple of books um, on my Kindle. I haven't gotten the last couple because I'm just so far behind at this point. So, on to the physical books I have. Um, the first one here is Lee Bardugo. This is book, I don't remember, this is Siege and Storm and I can't remember if this is the first book book in the series or the second book in the series of um, the Grisha trilogy but Lee Bardugo is definitely an autobiography author for me she's new to me I just discovered her and I have fallen in love with her her storytelling um, I've read Six of Crows and the Crooked Kingdom now as well and I own all those on audio I own actually all of these on audio as well but um, definitely anything she writes I will definitely read and um, probably buy. Next is Cassandra Clare. This one is book one of the Infernal Devices trilogy which is the second trilogy that she has written. Um, it is intertwined really closely with the Mortal Instruments which is the City of Glass, City of Bones, the all the books that start with City. Cassandra Clare definitely recommends that you read her series in publication order of the books themselves, not in publication order of the series, and that is because they all are intertwined together. And I do definitely think that you need to read the short stories. Um, the Bane Chronicles aren't as necessary. It's more backstory to some of the other stories, but the Shadowhunter Academy is definitely has some information and some key people that you meet in Lady Midnight and in Lord of Shadows that you won't know who the heck they are or what happened or where that came from without reading the Shadowhunter Academy. So, but Cassandra Clare could probably rewrite the dictionary and I would still buy it and read it. That is how much I love her books. Next, I have um, Sarah B. Lawson, and this is her newest release. I just got it in the mail on Friday, and I had forgotten. It was a pre-order, and I had forgotten that it came out so this month. 
So I was really excited to open this package up. This is Dark Breaks the Dawn, and I have not started this yet. Um, I will probably try and get to this in June, but I've also read her Defy series. That was where I was introduced to her, and I have the last book in that series up there autographed on my shelf, um, which is Endure, and I highly recommend it. Um, I really enjoy her stories. I really enjoy her character development, and um, I can't wait to dive into this one. She's definitely one that is an auto-read slash auto-buy for me. Next up um, is probably one of my all-time favorite, favorite authors. She is one that whatever she writes, I read, whether it's a, whether it's a tweet or a blog post or a Facebook post. Um, a, I read everything she writes, and I just love the way she tells her stories and engages with people. Um, even any interview I've seen from her, I've just really loved as well, and that is Maggie Stivewater. This is the um, fourth book in the Wolves of Mercy Falls series, um, Center, which is more of a companion novel than a series, but it is one of the exclusive covers. And it's autographed, but there's the actual cover. This is a, a, a special edition hand-drawn book jacket for this one. I actually also have two other books of hers up on my shelf. I have the Raven King, which is also autographed and has a special drawing on the inside of it. And then I have the Raven Boys, which is the UK edition cover in a paperback up there that my brother-in-law picked up when he went to London um, uh, several summers ago. But I also have her latest novel, All the Crooked Saints, on pre-order, and I pre-ordered it as soon as it was announced that it was available and that it was coming out. Her next trilogy, Ronin, that's about Ronin, from the Raven Boys cycle, I will definitely also read and purchase those as well. Probably a pre-order so I can get the special benefits of, of the covers as well. Next, I have Casey West. This is the P.S. I Like You, which is not her most recent book, but I do own it. I think I own five or six of her books, and I have read two of them so far. I just, I don't really care for YA contemporary, but I love her writing. I love her characters. I love her story. Um, so I am excited to be able to read her. So she's definitely an auto-read book, uh, an auto-read author, an auto-buy author for me. Next, I have Renee Audier. This is The Rat and the Dawn. Um, I just was introduced to Renee Audier this this year and read Wrath of the Dawn and then a Rose in the, the Rose and the Dagger and I loved it. I could not put these down. I still think about this story and just she's such an amazing storyteller. I cannot wait to read more by her. Another author that I don't have any physical copies of her books yet but is an absolute auto-buy, auto-read author for me at this point, is Sabah Tahir, and she is the writer of An Ember in the Ashes, and hopefully her third book will, in that series will come out soon, but I just love the way that she has told the story, um, even though it is not necessarily a nice place to live in this world. Um, this world is brutal. But I love the way she has developed her characters and her world and just the way she tells her story. Um, I have, I follow her on Twitter and I love all of her tweets and I um, have read all of her blog posts and I just love the way she um, just tells a story in general. Next is Adam Silvera and 
I have only read one of his books so far, and that is More Happy Than Not. I do plan on reading History Is All You Left Me. And um, they all, we all die at the end, or they both die at the end, which is coming out later on this year. I do plan on purchasing and reading it as well. Um, and even it, Adam Severa is one of those authors that I, he's one of the few that I've had the chance to meet and listen to talk um, at a, on a panel. And then I got to talk to him a little bit afterwards, and I just love him and how he interacts with people and how he, how personable he was and just kind of what he stands for. Um, and I, even if I don't end up liking the rest of his books, I will still buy them to support him as a person. Um, that's probably a little strange, but I just like him so much as an individual that I want to support his works. Um, I anticipate that I will like the rest of his books just as much as much as I liked More Happy Than Not, so I don't think that's going to be an issue, but I definitely will be buying the rest of his works that he produces. The last one I am going to mention in this video for my auto-read, auto-buy authors is J.R. Ward. Um, and I will buy her books under the J.R. Ward pen name. This is one of her pen names. Um, I don't really care for the other ones. Her other pen names, Jessica Bird, I believe. And that's more of a historical romance series, if I'm remembering correctly. And that's just not something that, that I have um, been drawn to. However, J.R. Ward writes paranormal romance adult paranormal romance this is book 12 11 12 I think of the Black Dagger Brotherhood series um, this one is actually Quinn and Blaylock's story Quinn Blaylock and um, John Michael are my favorite of the characters in this series and they're really more secret they start off as more secondary characters until they get a little bit um, bigger, grown up, whatever, because they're teenage boys when they, this series starts. So I've read this series by her. I'm on, I think I'm three books behind. I'm stuck on The King. The King features Wrath, and he's a character I just don't care for. And so it's really taken me a long time to read a book. It actually came out in 2014, and Usually these books take me just a couple of days to read, and this one has taken me three years so far. And she's gotten three more books in this series out since then. So I've got to trudge through and get that done. But she also has written um, a series based on angels that I've read. I've read all of those, and I loved them. And then she's got a spinoff series, The Bourbon King, that I haven't started yet. I do own the first one of it, and I will read it, it as well. Um, I've heard wonderful things about it. So, J.R. Ward. That is it for my monthly recommendations of my auto buy, auto read authors. I'm sure there's several of them out there that I have um, left off of this list, but this is a good starting point. It's got a good mixture of adult and a good mixture of YA authors and some fantasy, some contemporary, some paranormal romance. It just kind of all goes, um, you know, it encompasses a lot. So, the only thing that I haven't re mentioned in this is a historical fiction. And there is one author that I've read two of her books, and I do anticipate reading, reading the rest and any future ones. And that's Ruta Sepetys. I love World War II stories, and she has two YA historical fiction novels out that are amazing. Um, between Shades of Grey and Salt to the Sea. I highly recommend those, especially if you like World War II stories, um, historical fiction books. So definitely check her out as well. And with that, before I think of any more, I'm going to end this video. If you like any of these authors, definitely leave your um, comments below. If there's any author, if there are any authors similar to this that you think I should check out, 
be sure and let me know those as well. I'm always looking for new recommendations for authors and books. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to be notified when I post new content. And until next time, bye.